information system within the business mostly affected within three dimensions or perspectives. You can say the scope or domain of information system is defined by three major perspectives. First one is organization, second one is management, and third is information technology. So what is the structure of the organization, or how manager performs their task in doing business, or which technology is physically available to process data? All of these defines the information system within the business. Assume a situation if internet is much slow, then what effect on decision-making process? Yes, it would be slow due to slow information processing. So as we have a change in doing business process, you need different information system. Let's start with organization dimension. What is an organization? It is a combination of different key elements. People, structure. Business process. Culture and politics in business. So how your organization in business, it depends upon all of these key elements. In this same, you can say the information system is affected with different combination of these key elements. How a business process is performed, what is the impact of culture and politics? What type of structure of business, how people are arranged to perform their task? All of these greatly impact the scope and domain of an information system. For example, people working at the senior level needs different type of information system as compared to staff working at operational level. Oh, people. In organization, people are the most important element who defines the system requirements for a business. People are organized in a hierarchy from senior most manager to production worker. Topmost is senior management, then middle management is working, who are responsible to coordinate activities and operational management level. Knowledge worker creates new knowledge, and then shared with operational management after getting instructions from senior management. Data worker and production worker are working under operational management. As they have to perform various type of task at these levels, so they need a specific information system for their needs. These management levels are involved in various type of decision making. Unstructured decision which requires insight and personal point of view is handled by senior management. For example, launching a new product Middle management is involved in semi-structured decisions, which is mixed type of situation. For example, delivery of parcel to other city. Operational staff is doing most the structured decision. For example, count stock of an item in a store. Here we have some information systems for these management levels. Information system which is mostly need by senior management is deals with data summary, data from internal and external source. Also presented in graphical format and helpful in strategic and unstructured decisions. This type of system has more analytical and graphical capabilities. For example, executive information system. Middle management needs information system which helps in semi-structured decisions with analytical capabilities, with the help of internal and external data source. For example, decision support system. Operational management needs information system that deals with structured data processing with little analytical capabilities. It is front-end system, that is used to capture data in the organization. For example, transaction processing system. Dividing organization in levels is not enough, we have to divide it further. To perform any business operation, it can be divided into four functional areas, such as 
Sales and Marketing Human Resources Finance and Accounting and Manufacturing and Production Simply you can say, every organizational level can be divided into these four functional areas. In other words, information system that is required to perform any functional area in a specific organizational level, has different data requirements. So we need a unique information system to performing all of the activities in that specific functional area. Well, here we have to learn business process, which is the core construct of any business. It is a unique way to perform activities in doing business. For example, sale of an item, course registration. These activities must be arranged in a specific sequence. Every organization has unique business process and performing those in unique way. So different and unique information system is required to perform such business process for a specific business. Culture is our weakness but politics is everywhere. Business culture and politics is little complex to understand. Culture is certain norms and values, those must be followed in doing business. For example, every university has their own unique admission procedure that is traditionally followed there. And these norms and values also affect the information system. Information system must be customized to adjust the business culture. Whereas politics is personal point of view of managers in performing activities and doing business. For example, in teaching, every teacher has his own teaching style in teaching same subject. For this purpose, information system has the capabilities to adjust the customized need of each manager. Okay, move toward management dimension on information system. Managers are the core element in performing business processes, so their involvement is important in defining organizational strategy. Unstructured and semi-structured decision are mostly affected by manager insight and point of views. For this purpose, information system gives number of options, so that manager can evaluate and select the best one according to their point of view. In this way managers creates new and unique ideas or products. Sometimes, managers can restructure an entire organization to run in a different way. So selection and scope of information system is entirely based on the information requirements identified by managers. Even a system with much capabilities is not workable solution, if managers are not willing to accept it. Technology dimension is the real foundation of any information system. So without proper information technology dimension, implementation of an information system is not possible. It defines the physical limits and scope of an information system implementation. Information technology dimension includes hardware and software. Database and database management techniques. Networking and telecommunication technologies. And IT infrastructure. IT infrastructure is the platform or foundation that information system is built on. It is a combination of various technologies required to implement information system. If something is missing or not available, then if definitely impact the information system implementation. For example, a slow internet connection will not support quick analytical processing, so delaying in decision making. If required software is not available, then that type of data processing is not possible. At last, now we have the clear idea about the limits and scope of an information system in the business. Also understand different organizational elements, 
and factors those impact the information system requirements.